Hi, I'm Alan Davis, the VAT partner at Henderson Lockheed, and today I'm going to be talking about making tax digital for VAT. So, what does making tax digital for VAT mean in practice? Well, it's the government's attempt to um, digitise the submission of VAT returns and information. And what that means is that um, rather than um, gathering together the details for a VAT return manually and on spreadsheets and all that kind of um, accounting records separately, all these would be linked digitally and then submitted digitally to the Revenue and Customs with really the aim of, of improving um, the accuracy of submissions that they receive. This will affect all VAT registered businesses in the UK. That's about 2.3 million um, traders and they've got until the 31st of March 2019 to make sure that they've got their systems ready to um, adapt to this change. For most um, taxpayers who are operating on a fairly standard accounting package, for example Sage or Xero, it's expected that the providers will adapt their software to take care, account of these um, digital changes. However, for larger businesses that have, maybe have two or three accounting systems that merge and are brought together at head office, for example, or use quite a lot of um, spreadsheets to, to gather information, um, there'll be a need to digitize the process of gathering all that information into one place to then submit a VAT return. Um, and that will require software that's only currently being developed. Um, many clients have been asking um, how much the change will cost. Um, customs, uh, sorry, revenue and customs estimate that it will cost very little. Um, most clients think that it will cost a lot more. Um, it's unclear at this stage um, how much more Sage and, and Zero and, and providers like that will, will um, charge in addition to their normal charges. But it's clear that there will be an additional cost that, that, that software will need to be procured and that won't be um, free and certainly customers have said they won't provide any software themselves. The, the, the proposed system is, is different from the current system because um, whilst currently you can um, calculate a VAT return and then go on to the internet and um, go on to the HMRC website and submit your numbers through there, there will be an electronic portal that um, your so software system will talk to and there'll be ma no manual intervention in, in submitting a VAT return. You might ask um, why, why do this and, and what's the benefit for me? As taxpayers, um, customs would argue that the benefit is that there's um, less room for error. Um, the real benefit is that customs um, get more accurate data. And if you kind of gaze away into the future a bit more, um, it's not difficult to see that the, the software systems that are in, in play will start to deliver more and more information um, directly into the, um, the revenues um, portal and they'll start to mine that information um, to, to measure risk. They say it on the basis that if you, the more information you provide, um, the better it is for them and the less chance you've got to get in a, a, an inspection. HMRC have yet to announce that um, software providers have actually um, provided software that meets their conditions. So there is a bit of a timeline running now. They've all, always said that the um, April 2019 deadline is um, fixed. So the around 60 software providers are, are trying to develop that now um, and run that into the pilot. So what do you do, need to do about it now? Well, currently we're um, enrolling a couple of clients from each of our um, four um, Scottish offices into the, the pilot with customs where, with a view to getting that kind of insight into how the, 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 the system will work. But for others, um, it's more like that you need to be aware of the change. Um, you need to be thinking about who currently provides your software um, maybe go back to them and ask them what they're planning to do in terms of making tax digital. Um, and if their answer is, we don't really know, then maybe the, the, the opportunity is there for you to, to push them on a bit um, or to start looking at um, potential other providers. And by all means, come back to us. We'll be monitoring um, as, as providers come into the marketplace, we'll be seeing their products um, and, and judging whether they meet our clients' needs. So making tax digital for VAT isn't going away. There's a deadline. It's the 31st of March. 2019. Um, clearly we'll be working with clients to help them through that journey to comply with the, the, the digitization of VAT. Um, we'll be helping them with software and uh, as, as the deadline approaches we'll um, share best practice when it comes to um, compliance. If you've got any questions um, or comments please drop them into the, the box below or do feel free to contact me directly. 
But in the meantime, thanks for watching and listening and see you next time.